This video is sponsored by Milanote. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and you are watching Studio Fix, the series where I tackle teeny tiny apartments under 500 square feet and show you how to make them beautiful, stylish, and organized. You got a makeover to do, so. <laughs> Carlo, are you ready? In today's episode of Studio Fix, I am helping Inderpreet create the studio apartment of her dreams. My name is Inderpreet and I moved from Vancouver to Toronto for my PhD at the University of Toronto. I moved to Toronto during the pandemic and I only brought what I could fit in my suitcase. So I have no furniture and my apartment right now feels really empty and it doesn't feel like a home. After years of living with roommates, I finally have my own apartment and I would love for it to feel like a home, especially now that I'm in the city and back in school. I have these beige walls and I know Alexandra usually recommends painting the space white, but I can't. So please, Alexandra, can you help me? I feel like this is so relatable to so many people. They pack up a small amount of their things. They move across the world or across the country to go to school. And it can be hard feeling like the apartment that you move into feels like home. So like all of our Studio Fix episodes, we are gifting Interpreet with this entire makeover. And I really hope that this series inspires you to make those tiny changes that will ultimately have a really big impact and make your apartment feel like home. We are going to be adding in a sofa for a living room space. We are going to be keeping her desk and creating an entryway all in 500 square feet. So if that wasn't challenging enough, we've added in another challenge and we are keeping the renter beige walls. Shut up. I know, I am someone who says, paint over those renter beige walls. For a lot of people, the reality is, is that they can't. They can't paint over the renter's beige. So I am going to challenge myself and try to embrace the renter beige that I always tell people sucks. <laughs> There's a variety of renter beiges out there. There's like a gray toned renter's beige. There's a beige beige renter's beige. Inderpreet's is quite warm and has a lot of yellow kind of buttercream undertones to it. So we are leaning into it. We are going warm, we're going textured. We're just trying to make this like the coziest place on earth and the renter's beige, can't believe I'm saying this, is gonna help us achieve that. So today I'm sitting down to plan Interpreet's studio apartment and I wanted to take you guys behind the scenes because you're always asking me what program I use for my mood boards and I'm gonna show you right now. So I use Milanote and here's what I'm thinking. I wanna build the mood board with you guys, but because we are really leaning into the renter's beige, I've used her wall color as our background to really get a sense of how these products are gonna work with that color. When you're looking for products, I'm gonna look for a headboard. When I find one that I like, all I have to do is click the little save button right here. See, and it says save to Interpreet's Studio Fix. So I go back to my mood board and it appears there and I can just drag it right into the mood board. That way, when Alana starts calling things in or finding similar products, she can literally click on the link right here and it will take her to the product page. Also, Alana and I can actually communicate together on the board so I can leave a note for her and tag her and then she can reply to the note, which is super cool. Love this headboard and see if she can source it. Another feature they've just added, which is actually perfect for this makeover, is if you drag in this color swatch, it generates colors from your mood board and all the products you've picked that Milanote thinks will look good with your existing palette. It's pretty genius and I could do this forever, just like pulling color palettes because they are spot on. We have these like dusty browns, this like oat kind of color, it's called bison hide. It also gives you the color codes. You can literally go to the paint store, give them this color code and they will mix up that exact color for you, which is really, really cool. I've said this a million times, but because I'm working with a team and we're kind of bringing this vision to life together, switching to Milanote has just made my life so much easier because everything is in one place and accessible with links, our inspo photos. I even put our before photos in here sometimes as well, floor plans. It's just really nice to like have everything in one place. The best part is Milanote is totally free, so go check it out and let's get to 
prep day. Okay. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. It is day one of Interpreet's makeover. It's kind of echoey in here because there's no furniture, but we are going to change that today. So I'm here with the with the team. We're here, hey guys. <laughs> Graham, you there? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> you ready? We're ready. The first thing we're doing on prep day, as usual, is just unboxing everything that's been delivered to Interpreets and building anything and everything we can. Okay guys, I just wanna show you behind the scenes of a prep day. Cause it's madness. Like, oh my gosh. So we are going to lay the rug down. It's huge, it's massive, but we intentionally went for a really, really large rug. So we need to put it down and it needs to stay down. We're gonna do that and then we're gonna start moving furniture around, but watch us unpack the rug. <laughs> okay. A tip I have for your studio apartment is to buy a really big rug. Often I think we use rugs to divide a space, but for this studio apartment, we want to get a rug that covers most of the floor. We're playing some too swift. Oh, but this can't be recorded on the vlog. It's, it's time locked. Though. Cut the cameras. This rug is from Rugs USA, pretty much the only place I buy my rugs because there's always sales, there's always discounts, and you can find a really big rug like this at an amazing price point. It looks so much bigger in here because we went for a really large rug and it makes the space look 10 times bigger than it is. Guys, you're getting a sneak peek at the headboard. We are kind of debating putting up a room divider. I've never used a room divider before in Studio Fix, but I've wanted to because I think that they can be really functional in a small space. But here's my dilemma. The headboard is obviously so beautiful. It's like such a statement. But then once we put the room divider here, it like totally hides the headboard. I feel like it just looks like this dark blob. It also doesn't give Interpreet a lot of room to like actually get out of bed. So I, I don't know. What are your thoughts? I don't know if I'm pro this room divider, but like I would love something to divide the space. Okay, so I've decided not to use the room divider. Instead of a room divider, we are gonna separate the spaces with a floating shelf, some lights, other decor, and I don't know, I feel strongly that this headboard just like needs its moment to shine. One of the last things we're doing on prep day is getting a rough layout of a gallery wall that we're gonna be adding. So exciting. I always just find it super helpful to lay all the prints out, find a general layout before we start hanging. So Amanda and I are off to HomeSense. We want to find a coffee table because we have this from Article, this like beautiful little stool situation. But I want to get Interpreet something that's a bit bigger and something that she can actually eat at because we are tight on space and there's no real space to put like a dining nook. So I think a coffee table will be a good solve for that. Let's go to HomeSense and see what we can find. That was a great shot. I feel like the camo gamer chair had a vibe. It's very much the vibe. Elena's gonna be like, sorry, what? I know, Elena's gonna be like, no, you guys are not allowed to go without me next time. <laughs> okay guys, we have a blank wall in Interpreet's space. This could be really cool. Like the light wood matches everything. Yeah, that's a mood. With my pink hat? Your pink hat is such a vibe today. Thank you. A subscriber just <laughs> met Alexandra and her face is all red. She's blushing. I think it's because you're with me that's never I have one I love that. Oh my god, my first face time. is so red. <laughs> to see Alexandra at a home sense, like, <laughs> the best time. We're looking for maybe a potential switch to the lamp. And a coffee table. I'm thinking something low to the ground and like, like, wide so she can eat off of it, you know? I see the black light. Elena was like, it'll be there right when you walk in. Wow, the focus. There it is. <laughs> we got the lamp and we're gonna take this print. We didn't find a coffee table, which is slightly concerning, but as always, we will figure it out. Ready to check out? Ready. Bring all the stuff to your car, as usual. The car of decor. We couldn't find a coffee table at HomeSense, 
but I am doing what I do best at 5 p.m. <laughs> I'm calling around to the local home decor stores and trying to track something down. I just called Structube to see if they had a coffee table in stock. It's actually a set of two nesting tables. They fit like into each other. So Indrapreet can take them out if she has guests over to create more surface space. Anyways, I called Structube. They're out of stock, but they're gonna sell me the floor model we love. I needed this win today, so I'm happy about it. Now we just have to get it home in Amanda's car. <laughs> I should have got footage of that. There was no room for me in the car. <laughs> it was just Amanda and a bunch of decor. You're like you're about to rob them. <laughs> you're like your bandits. Okay, it is day two. We had such a good prep day yesterday. The space is looking a little chaotic. Tons of furniture. We did mount some shoe cabinets over by the entry, which we'll get to later, but those are up. Built a lot of furniture, put the rug down, and it's time to get started. I know that when we do these studio apartment makeovers, you guys are all so curious about where the kitchen is and the bathroom, etc. So here is her kitchen. Carla, you can show them. It's filled with decor. By the end of the day, this will be all clear, but this is all the decor we're working with. We're working in a studio. Like there's no space to store it anywhere else. Okay, and then over here, she has two closets, like linen closets. And then through this door is her actual clothes closet and her bathroom. Also, we mounted this shelf yesterday, which I'm really hoping works here. <laughs> like the sofa has to go here because we mounted the shelf. Anyways, let's just do it. I'm obsessed with the sofa. One, because it's boucle fabric, which is very trendy right now, but also it's the perfect size. The thing I love about article is that you can find beautiful statement sofas like this one in a small size. So this works so well in a studio. It's actually like quite roomy. Like, I don't know if I could lay out. Actually, I could take a nap on this. Yeah, for sure. Just don't show my toes. Totally works. I'm so happy with that. I also love the shelf because we've hung it kind of closer to the bed. So it looks like a side table for the bed and kind of visually divides the space. Okay, the next thing is I'm gonna hang a mirror above the sofa. Because it's a small space, you always wanna think about using mirrors. Floor length mirrors, wall mirrors. Oh, there's my light. You, you can, can see, see my light. light. See my light. Fire practice. You can see my life, <laughs> see my life. It's going to bounce the light off the windows and just make the space feel bigger. Cute, super cute. So you guys saw the headboard yesterday, but I'm gonna officially bring it into the vid today. This is a statement piece, like this is bold, beautiful. And when you're in a small space and you're looking to divide areas of a small room, a headboard like this is great because it really visually says, this is the bedroom. The bed frame holds the headboard against the wall. We are going to zip tie the legs to the bed frame just to give it some extra support. So a great renter friendly piece of furniture. Beauty, I'm so glad we didn't go with the room divider because even though it's such a great idea, I think just seeing this when you walk into the apartment is so fantastic. Time to make the bed. This beautiful linen bedding is from Flax Home and this is a women owned company, entirely women. I've met them all and they're so great. It's also a Canadian company and when I tell you that this linen feels like butter, feels like butter. I meant like buttery soft. This bedding feels like butter. Yeah, that's not appealing. <laughs> this bedding feels like melted butter. <laughs> Just me in a bowl. <laughs> Yeah! Mm. Feels like buttery, buttery soft. <laughs> Just stop saying butter. We're going to move on. But a tip I will leave you with is when you are working with red or beige walls, you wanna pull out similar tones of beiges, browns, like anything that's close to the wall color. That's why we went with this color of bedding. We are bringing in lots of texture with the linen material and look at that. This bed looks brand spanking new. If you live in a small space, you are probably tight on storage and this is so normal, but the easiest way to fix it is by putting storage under your bed. I got these from Ikea. We're giving Indrapreet four of them. They're on wheels so she can pull the boxes out, put all of her stuff underneath her bed. And it just looks like sleek. You don't know that there's tons of storage underneath your bed. 
but I think it's like a place that people don't normally think about organizing things. So I'm placing this bench here, and I feel like in a small space, any surface space you can get, the better. Inderpreet can bring this over to the living area when she has guests over for extra seating. She can use it to put her clothes on at the end of the day. The possibilities are really endless, and it looks super cute too. This table was originally going to go in the living room area and act as a coffee table, but as you guys know, I wanted to go with something a bit more functional, but this looks so good and it's perfect beside Inderpreet's bed. There's a plug here, so I'm adding a light. I think it looks so cute. It's also from Article. Loving all the Article pieces in this makeover. I just wanna say, we're mixing metals with rattan, but it totally works because the color of this metal, let me turn it off so you can see, still falls in that like beigey, dark brown category. So see what we're doing? We're mixing materials, but keeping all the colors the same or in the same family. I'm now tackling this side of the room. As I mentioned at the beginning of today, we added this shoe storage, which is gonna function as like a little mini entryway. More about that later. But Inderpreet's desk is gonna go here. There's something about sleeping beside a computer that just like doesn't sit right with me. I don't know. I feel like there's probably some scientific thing that says like the waves of your computer interfere with your sleep. Actually, I think that's like a, I think that's a thing. <laughs> Anyways, the whole point is we are moving the desk on the opposite side of the wall. So it feels a little more separate from Inderpreet sleeping and living area. Also Inderpreet already had this desk and it works so well with our, with the style we're going for. Next, I'm gonna bring in a matching desk chair. Ooh, this is nice. This desk chair is from Ikea and just happens to match the desk she already had here perfectly. So there are two tiny overhead lights in this entire apartment, one in the entry, one in the kitchen. So instead of a desk light, I wanted to bring in a floor lamp. It looks decorative, but it's also gonna be a functional light for that side of the room. And then the bedside light is also more light, which is great. We need all the light we can get, you know? Cute. Say this in probably every makeover, but adding curtains to your window always just like finishes off a space and makes it feel really styled. We have hung the rod from the ceiling and we've hung two side by side, but it looks like one long one. And I'm gonna hang up these panels. These are from Ikea, so dreamy. It's 100% linen. Because there's a big heater here, we cannot have curtains in front of it because it's a fire hazard. So I've pushed them all the way to the left and all the way to the right. This is something I didn't think of before I hung the curtains. So I'm gonna let Interpreet know that you can always put some film up or some blinds if the light bothers her, but they make this space feel like so much more luxurious, you know, like a hotel. So you guys saw the whole luck I had with StruckTube last night, which was so fun. So I picked these up on my way home and the great thing about these tables is that they nest. So this one sits inside this bigger one and I don't think it makes sense for Inderpreet to have them both at the same time, but when she has guests over, she can take them out and she has that much more surface space. Dual purpose furniture. We love it. Another coffee table we could have added is this one. I'm gonna pop a photo up on screen of it. And if you guys are looking for a new coffee table, this one is so cool because it actually turns into a dining table or like a little desk area. You guys know in a small space, multi-purpose furniture is like the key. So I will link this coffee table down below. I am hanging this massive photo that Amanda and I bought yesterday at HomeSense. It's just so perfect for this space. Texture, the colors are similar. It was a good find. Sometimes you just need a massive print to fill a wall. Sometimes that's just the answer. Because we don't have a lot of entryway space to work with, I'm just hanging three hooks on the wall. They're decorative, so they make a statement. We also mounted this wall storage, also from Ikea. Interbreed can put shoes in here, but also it's just like great for other storage, like winter accessories, hats, mitts, all the things. And we're using wall space. So we're keeping things off the floor and closed storage like this is great to conceal clutter. Duh. <laughs> for this side of the room, we are doing a massive gallery wall 
And the idea here is that if Interpret ever gets a TV, she can build the gallery wall around the TV and watch the TV from the sofa or her bed. But also, I feel like it's just gonna visually divide this side of the room and this is her office space. This is like her living space. So we wanted to make it as decorative as possible. I'm gonna put these up on the wall. These are from Desenio. I've worked with them in the past and love all of their art. I think it's just gonna make this whole space really come to life. This looks so good. It looks amazing. Incredible, amazing. Show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before. Put it in a blender, eat it, give birth to it. Also, the reflection this mirror has now is just so, so good. And it's kind of wild, like what a few pieces of art on a wall can do to a space. I love it. Now it's time for those finishing touches. I think when it comes to a small studio apartment, don't overlook those like really lovely decor pieces, like throw blankets, throw cushions. You just wanna add in like tons of texture to your space, make it feel warm, cozy, inviting. I'm placing this faux sheepskin on Indopreet's desk chair, super cozy. It's from Ikea, the only place I get my faux sheepskins from. And of course, setting the mood with a candle. It's finally time to reveal the space to Interpreet. I'm so excited for this reveal because she deserves this so much and I can't wait to see her reaction. Also, stay tuned at the end for Interpreet's friend's reaction. It was so fun to receive this video the next day. You ready? Okay, I want you to picture what your space looked like before. Can you kind of like walk me through? It looked like a very studious computer science student lived there, <laughs> but I am not either of those things. Uh, it was just empty, completely empty. Well, I was so excited to do this for you because you just made a massive move during a pandemic. Like that's not easy, you came with yeah. nothing. So I'm just so happy that I could make your, your apartment feel like a home. Are you ready? One, two. Okay. Shut the front door. <laughs> is this real? How is this the same place? Oh my God. I can't even remember what it looked like before anymore. This is wild. <laughs> I can actually finally have my friends over because my friends have not been to my apartment because I, I had nowhere to put them. not have ever imagined any of this. <gasps> this is so amazing. Hey. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Best reaction ever. This was such a fun episode, like leaning into the renter beige, making it work. Suddenly I like don't hate renters beige. Don't quote me on that because I'm going to change my mind tomorrow. But like in this setting, it looks so good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out Milanote down in the description box below. You guys always ask me about it. So go run to sign up for your free account. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more studio fixes. We are bringing the series back strong. And as always, I will see you next week. Bye. Are you ready? You gotta close your eyes. Yeah. Sarah, did, Sarah didn't close her eyes. Whoa! Oh That's my so god! Good. Holy sh! Looks so good! I know! Oh my god.